Good evening, everyone. Your newscast begins here tonight with a startlingly close call. A family shaken from a sound sleep when a transport truck crashed into their house in the middle of the night. It is not the first time this particular house in Aulak, New Brunswick, has been hit. But this time, the family is worried the house will have to be torn down. CTV's Jonathan McInnes has the story. They came and dug it up, and now everyone stopped their working because they, they don't know who's going to pay for it. But as they wait, hundreds of liters of diesel continues to seep into the ground. Obviously, some environmental issues that it would be in the ground sitting there. It's affected our well water. We can't have the water on in the house at all. Um, we've been told not to drink it, shower, touch it. At 4.30 Tuesday morning, this transport truck slammed into the side of the Elliott home in Aulak, New Brunswick. Its trailer was empty, but its fuel tanks were nearly full. The homeowner is still too shaken up to go on camera, but she did tell me that when she came out of her bedroom, she could hear fuel leaking from the truck and his driver was screaming at her to get out of the house. The driver was worried the truck was going to explode, but that didn't happen and both managed to get out. Sue Gallant is the homeowner's sister. She arrived at the scene shortly after the accident and spoke with the driver. Well, he looked lost and he looked sad, I'm going to say that. I felt bad for him and he just didn't know what to do, but he was being very cooperative and talking with all the helpers and the police. The homeowner works at a restaurant across the street and she was scheduled to open the business for the day on Tuesday. Gallant says had the truck hit a half an hour later, her sister would have been eating breakfast. The table would be on this angle with a chair back there, one there and you look this way. So. The home has been in the family for generations, but a trend seems to be developing recently. This is the third time in the last five years a vehicle has struck the home, but it's the first incident involving a transport truck. I got here as quickly as I could and the rescuers and first responders did their job and did everything, like I said, and got everything cleaned up and stuff. Everything except the fuel, which has also flowed into the septic field and a wooded area behind the home. It's overwhelming. The, the smell in, in the house is overwhelming. Out in the yard, as we can smell it as we're standing here now. Southeast District RCMP have ruled out mechanical failure in the truck. Sergeant Paul Gagne says no charges have been laid against the driver yet, but their investigation is ongoing. Steve, we now know the insurance company will be putting the homeowner up in a room in Sackville, but her family say the chances of her returning to live in her home aren't looking good. Steve? It's quite a story. Jonathan, thanks very much. CTV's Jonathan McGinnis at the border in Aulak, New Brunswick.